when you're sculpting in surface mode in 3D Coat, you'll notice some new brushes, and one of those is the loop brush. You can see that it's directly located beneath the fill brush, and that's because they are somewhat related. Let's go ahead and use the fill tool first, and then we'll use the loop brush to compare it with. So. I'm going to select the head layer, make sure I'm on the right one. And as I begin brushing, you can see it tries to smooth as you brush. And sometimes that may be what you want, sometimes not. And also, too, is sometimes it has a little bit of trouble filling this chasm here, or this, this gap, completely. So let's try the loop brush. And this is much like using caulking or some type of sealant. It fills from the bottom up in a crevice or cavity, as you can see here. And it's also pressure sensitive, so the harder you press on it, the more the dramatic effect. Okay, so even if I go here, I can still build up. Oops, let me undo one time here. Yeah, I can still build that, that space up, whereas the fill tool just would not do that. Same thing here, reduce my brush size and just kind of brush right along that crack area that's still not filled in yet. Okay. So if I'm happy with this, I can use one of these smoothing types. I can just use you know, a regular smooth brush. I can hold the shift key to do just standard smoothing, or I can choose a different smoothing type here from the shift action menu. Okay, so that is a look at the loot brush in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching.